So not being able to participate in any kind of early access for Cyberpunk, I can't bring you guys my opinion on it yet. But with it being December 7th, the date in which said people who had early access can drop reviews on the game, today we check out what people think of Cyberpunk 2077. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and if you do enjoy this video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more cyberpunk be sure to subscribe. So over the past day or so we have seen many reviews of this game coming out from multiple sources, from content creators to news outlets. Now I myself watch almost every review on this game upon YouTube, from creators dedicated to cyberpunk to people who critique things for a living. Now I will talk a little about independent reviews from creators after we check out what press and media sources make of this game. Now some of these are harsh, some not so much. So let's go. So Eurogamer said, Beyond the bombast and the bugs, Cyberpunk 2077 has a very human heart. Game Informer say, An open world you can get lost in and continue finding new things to do. GameSpot said, Cyberpunk 2077 has standout side quests and strong main characters, though its buggy superficial world and lack of purpose bring it down. Games Beat say, it's fine to make a game like that, for many that's the promise of Cyberpunk 2077, it just wasn't the promise to me. Games Radar say, what Cyberpunk 2077 lacks in core campaign length, it makes up for with depth and soul offering a world of intrigue and violence unlike any other. Geek Hawk should say, Collective imagination of the team at CD Projekt Red knows no bounds. Cyberpunk 2077 certainly took a while to come to our hands, but be glad it's finally here, for it's here to stay for a long time to come. Giant Bomb said, Early impressions discussion may should have delayed this game even more. One word, undercooked. Ouch. God is a geek said, despite a few flaws, Cyberpunk 2077 is one of the most consistently astounding pieces of media I've ever had the pleasure of consuming. IGN said, Cyberpunk 2077 throws you into a beautiful, dense cityscape and offers a staggering amount of flexibility in how you can choose to take it from there. PC Gamer said, some nice characters and stories nested in an astounding open world undercut by jarring bugs at every turn. PC Games N said, groundbreaking but not quite as much as you're hoping it is. Cyberpunk 2077 doesn't surpass its brilliant influences, but in Night City, Johnny Silverhand and its chilling vision of hyper-capitalism, it claims territory of its own. Polygon said, Cyberpunk 2077 is dad rock, not new wave. RPG site said, when Cyberpunk's grim setting and mix of gameplay systems land, it is a powerfully impressive experience. Sprawling, dense, clever, witty, and most importantly, damn good fun. Other times, it has all the charm of a moody, edgy teenager. Screen Rant said, ultimately, it feels like Cyberpunk 2077 is a fitting bookend for the previous generation of games and a strong starting point for current gen. Now it's time to start innovating again. The Digital Fix said, CD Projekt Red has set a new standard for what can be achieved in this sandbox. Cyberpunk 2077 is taking open world gaming to the next generation. The Gamer website say, I can't get Cyberpunk 2077 out of my head. I've had it a week and played 70 hours, like a digital personality loaded onto a biochip. It felt like stepping into another life for a while. It's a life I can't wait to relive. Trusted reviews say, CD Projekt Red has created the triumphant RPG experience with Cyberpunk 2077, yet it often falters under the weight of its own ambition thanks to inconsistent writing and narrative. And VG247 say, it's easy to get carried away with what Cyberpunk 2077 could have been. The final experience might be more familiar than many predicted, with plenty of elements that aren't perfect, but it's dripping with detail and engaging stories. So there are a few different opinions there which we covered people which more or less conclude to the fact that Cyberpunk is indeed a great game, but it for sure is not perfect. And to be honest, I will ask you guys this question. 
Did you actually think this would be? Because I didn't. I knew from the amount of delays this game had, I knew from when it arrived it wouldn't be that perfect game. And well, it isn't. From the review videos I've seen also, where everyone who did get early access to this had it only on PC, none on consoles at all. But almost every review I saw said the same thing. The game right now wasn't ready to be shipped. Although the game is an incredible game, it suffers with many bugs. Reviewers also got a 40 plus gigabyte patch, which is different to the Day Zero patch, and this patch was meant to iron out many bugs these people were experiencing, yet it barely touched the surface. I mean, most people I've seen have said they experience game breaking bugs to a point of having to reset the game every 30 minutes. I've seen people mention objects in dialogue not appearing, bosses frozen in place when fighting, NPCs freezing requests, and much, much more. Now, like I said, for the most part, the bugs were overshadowed by reviewers in the fact of them stating the game is still incredible, and we also know guys that CDPR stay on top of things when it comes to games, just like they have with The Witcher 3. And I'm quite sure going into the near future, said bugs that people are experiencing or have experienced will be ironed out. How quick this will happen though, we don't know. The day one patch would definitely sort some issues out, but all of them, well that I ain't sure then. I'm still optimistic about the game and cannot wait for it, even though it will be here in just a couple of days for us all to play. And even with these bugs guys, the game's rating is actually amazing right now, with a meta score of 91 and an amazing open critic rating too, as I'm recording this video. So yes, even with said bugs which we know CDPR will eventually take care of, this game still seems to tick all the right boxes for the most part. And on that note guys, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Cyberpunk, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.